I'm Dave Patania with the American College of Sports Medicine to show you how exercise is medicine. Let's talk about exercise intensity, or simply how hard your body is working or needs to work in order to get the most out of each session of exercise. But before we start, it's important to keep in mind that the whole purpose of exercise is to improve and maintain your level of fitness. And sometimes that requires some effort, so don't be afraid to challenge yourself and find ways to push your limits from time to time because that's what produces results. Joining us today are Stacy and John. Now Stacy's very active and John is just starting back after a long layoff. They both have different training levels. However, we're gonna do a simple test called the talk test to determine each of their correct training zones. Now this zone is the zone to where you're working hard enough to get in good shape, but not too hard to where you could possibly get injured. Let's start John out at the basic speed of three miles an hour and give him the talk test to see how he's doing. Okay, now we're gonna move it from your base speed up to about, let's try about 4.3 and see how that feels. How do you feel right now? Not bad. Pretty Just good. Brisk walk. Okay. So we'll crank it up a little bit and see how that works. We want you just below the point where you can carry on a normal conversation. How do yeah, you I feel? Can, yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> a little breathy? Okay, right. so we'll lower it just a little bit. So your training zone is at about 4.7 or 4.8 miles an hour. So this is your training zone. Now he's in a training zone that is safe yet effective. This is also the pace that if he stopped and took his pulse for 10 seconds, he'd be in the higher end of his heart rate. So it's pretty accurate. Okay, now we're starting Stacy out at John's highest level, 4.7. How do you feel, Stace? Pretty good? Pretty good. So you can carry on a normal conversation. So we're gonna crank up the incline. So we're gonna make the treadmill go up a little bit and then we're gonna increase it. All right, now we're at about 5.2. Now how do you feel? <laughs> Almost jogging, huh? Does it feel good? Yeah. Okay, so crank it up a few more. So now we're at about 5.5 and not bad? Not bad. All right, so she's starting to get a little breathy. So at about 5.5, this is her training zone. Good job. The goal for both Stacy and John is to stay in their correct training zones for at least 20 to 30 minutes. Once they can do this on a consistent basis, they can then look to increase the intensity of their workouts. It's all about slowly working your way up to higher levels of intensity. Taking these simple steps may seem too easy, but you'll be surprised at how fast your body will improve. Okay, so to recap, a few minutes into your workout, give yourself the talk test to determine the correct training zone that'll allow you to get a great workout, yet still carry on a normal conversation. Basically, if you can pick up a cell phone and the person on the other end can't tell if you're exercising or sitting on the couch, it's too easy. At that point, it's all about keeping your activity level effective yet comfortable. For more information, just go to this website. There you'll find all the information you need to know to get a safe and effective workout. I'm Dave Patania with the American College of Sports Medicine.